Hey YouTube, Warby Mountain Man. I'm uh, working on replacing the handlebar on my BMW F700GS. Um, put this down in the mud the other day and uh, finally getting a bar to replace it. I'm not going to go through how to remove the bar, but I am going to go through how to replace the bar and put everything back together so you can kind of extrapolate how to remove the components from there. Um, got a got a bar off of eBay. It was uh, it's like right at $80 instead of the $200 they wanted to charge for an OEM. Uh, this is a BMW part, but it's just off of an older bike. Um, so, yep, uh, hopefully this is informative for you. I didn't find anything that, that covered these steps for this model bike, and I uh, hope this helps you guys out. Yeah, these bolts are already loosened from the removal of it. I just tighten them up a little bit so I can move it around the garage here. I was waiting on this bar. Getting rid of this old bar. I don't know if you can see there, but this is bent up way really high. All right, anyways. New bar. I'm not going to tighten this down all the way yet because I've got to get this on there. Oh, well, take this all the way back off. Slide that on there because I didn't have to completely take that apart. Do as take apart as little as possible. I just disconnected that throttle cable and slid that off when I removed the bar earlier. And these are torques. The largest one I've got. I, I don't remember offhand what it is. Probably fine tune this adjustment after I get everything put back on. I like to try and keep everything from one project in one little hobby box like that. So that uh, you know, over the course of a couple weeks, in between doing projects, you don't lose all your pieces and parts. So this larger Torx that we were using to put the uh, handlebar on, that's a T45. This is a uh, T27 for these handlebar mirrors, or for these mirrors. The toolbox is a wreck right now, I can't find the tool that I want, but it's like anything, there's more than one way to skin a cat. But I'm not really going to firm anything up right now. Just want to get everything on there.
Oh yeah. So this one's got a uh, little hidden screw in there underneath that grip. Put it in there so I wouldn't lose it because this is this has got a through bolt system instead of a clamp system like most bars do. And that's another Torx, and I'll I'll get that figured out sooner or later. What that is? Well, sooner we can learn. Right now, that's a T15. This side's going to be a little more tricky than the other one, so hopefully you guys can see this. Alright, that's going to have to go from this side. This handlebar also has a through, through screw with that T15, but it goes in through this side. And into the into the handlebar there, the um, throttle cable body. All right, so I'm gonna work on getting this throttle cable in there. It's kind of a tricky procedure. The trick is you got to get this little ferrule end into the in there. But you also have you got to hold the tension off the cable. You got to get it. See, I made the made a loop out of it. Went in there, let the tension off. Boom! Cable's fine. Reinstall that. Screw that little bad boy back up in there. All right, got return. That goes up underneath there. Try and figure out how this went back on there. This has its own little cover. Throttles put back together. I'm about to cover this little T17 up, so I'm just going to give it a little torque. All right, that's good. It's ready to be covered up. Okay. This little screw in here 
It's just a little machine screw. It's a, uh, it's a T9, so it's pretty tiny. And try and see if I can remember how this thing goes together. You gotta put the back together first. Make sure that your strain relief on your cable's in there. Front goes together. Run that little T9 home. All right, this side is almost complete. Last step is to put the bar end protector back on. Firm that bait boy on there. Good to move to the other side. Not ready to move to the other side yet. I gotta put my mirror back on. All right. Slips just past there. And once again, I'll just firm these up as soon as I get a chance to get on the, get on the bike and make sure that the handlebar position is correct and make sure that my grips are correct as well. Now we can move on to the other side. All right, got this little cover already on there. This, uh, this two plug goes in the two plug, make sure that connector clicks in. It gives you a little bit of slack, so you can plug in the big one. Make sure it clicks in. And then you got a four cable. And it doesn't click in, it just slides in. So this one you'll remove first, this one will be second, and then this will be third when you go to take this apart. All right, let's see if I can get this on there. All right. Got that clicked in. Got that clicked in. I think I have a couple of machine screws over here. Got the cable relief piece. 
it goes just like that. Make sure you get that cable relief down there in there. That just clips into place just like that. Well, I'm going to take it apart because it appears that I have missed a screw somewhere. Might have to go back and take the other side apart just to see if I can find where that screw goes. It certainly isn't abundantly obvious from this direction. screw so for orientation this is this is the throttle cable we're looking up at the bottom side of the uh, the brake side of the handlebar okay so I've taken off just the bottom cover of the the start cover if we remember so this is the cover that I let's see here this is the cover that I took off it's on the bottom side of the um, the ignition and kill switch all right so this is where that little screw goes Because they're German and I don't have a torque wrench, I'm going to torque this in a pseudo star pattern and I'm going to make it good and tight. Backside isn't isn't as low as much lower than the front, so I'm going to loosen these back ones up and torque more from the other side, so I can kind of so I can make it even. And 
torque it down together. And I'm not an expert, so uh, you know, do what you guys want to do. But I feel satisfied with that. Go ahead and torque down these end caps so I can be done with my T45. Last thing is to adjust the mirrors and the levers primarily. buttons work and seeing if the grip eaters work yep they're working so uh, maybe not perfect and like I said I'm not a professional but uh, Maybe that'll give you some insight on in how to do this job and save yourself a little bit of money. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. If I have to dig back into it to answer your question, I'd love to. Um, like I said, I, I didn't see this resource out there and uh, I'm excited to be able to help you guys if it does. All right, have a good one.